So, this is it. The uh, last day with the car, just taking it back now, first thing in the morning. It's nine o'clock, and I'm gonna go get my truck. All right, let's go. Back in Bessie. It's amazing how we can get so acclimatized to things. After driving, doesn't happen so much when it's like a single week of driving that car. But it feels so strange to be in a super low vehicle for a week, which you get used to, and then all of a sudden I jump back in my truck. I feel like I'm 10 feet in the air and that the brakes don't work. But they do. And I'm only like six feet in the air. That's crazy. It's so hot today. Like the time for shorts. to harvest. To design some circuit boards. Oh, I just didn't record that. I need to do a whole bunch of work to this truck. The brakes. Then I'll change some coming up. That's not really work. And I was gonna repair some of the rust and fix some things. There's no time. Should just order the parts, get it over with. Yeah, I'll do that. It's late, well, it's almost 10 o'clock, and I'm just going to head out for a quick, I don't even know what, adventure? Nothing really that long, just uh, feel like going outside for a little bit, so I'm going to go do that, but don't know if I'll actually make it anywhere, we'll see. So, got a time lapse going there of the boats. I love doing boat time lapses. And I was thinking of something kind of funny because I do, geese are being loud. I do the vlog so I can do time lapses, but then the vlog is about getting the time lapses. So it's like a cycle, you know? It's like, it wouldn't exist without them. It's also like when I talk about the vlog, I always find that funny. Hey, I just uploaded the vlog. It's like, that's part of the vlog and it wouldn't exist if I didn't have the vlog. See what I'm getting at? Anyways, I have a funny story about this location. It's a little bit different than when I was here, but I actually took sailing lessons when I was a kid. And they used to have these little tiny boats. They were called Optimists and they're basically bathtubs. I could fit two kids in them. And I don't know how old I was, like 10 or something. Anyways. Me and this other guy, we were like friends and we were partners in the boat. 
so we'd have to unload them from this area here and then carry them down to the dock and then out to the end of the dock. So everyone was unloading everything and like you never want to fall in this water because it's so dirty and gross and like some people didn't care but like we didn't want to go in it. So we're all standing at the dock, we've all got our like opties like ready to throw them in and everyone's turned around and then all we hear is this like really loud squeak and the my partner just like disappeared. He slipped off the edge of the dock and was like gone and no one knew where he went. He fell in the water. It was really funny. And it doesn't seem that funny right now, but when I think back, it was absolutely hilarious. And that's my little story. Okay, to the time lapse. Okay. That recycling bin had an LED blinking on it. The world we live in. Ugh. Spider webs all over me. And probably spiders. Actually, check this out. I only recorded it with Snapchat. So normally only Snapchat people would see it. So you should add me on Snapchat, first of all. But this is a uh, post worthy. So uh, just film this guy crawling on my leg. You see that? Note to self, don't sit on the rocks. Ah. So, uh, so note to self, don't sit on the rocks. Cause that was a huge spider and I flicked him off and he came running right back at me. That was cool. Anyways, I'm on Snapchat. I'm headed home now. Hey Bail. Okay, I'm back. And those time lapses weren't too exciting because the boats weren't the boats weren't really moving around. And I feel like I got spiders all over me. But uh but yeah, happens sometimes. So, I'm gonna edit one of these two vlogs, maybe both of them, it's only 11, and we'll see what happens next. That's all I can say, really, so, everyone, be good, and good night. <laughs>